Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a weekly setup in my B6stology. This is for next week, the week of the 12th through the 18th of December and we are going to jump right into it. So I am using this pastel Christmas sticker book by Craftsmart. This was sold at Michael's a while ago and I figured because I have been using traditional Christmas colors the past couple of weeks I thought I would go with a different color palette. So for December my setup was like this very traditional Christmas red and green Christmas colors more red green and then last week I added in a little bit of pink so it was red green and pink but I want to do something different and this pastel Christmas sticker book was perfect for that so we are going to use these stickers right here so it's a pastel pink purple blue and green color palette the colors are really light so I'm hoping it shows up on camera well these are some of the stickers that we are going to be working with then we have these tags these box stickers, checklists, headers. We have some washi tape strips, which are cute. We have these deco stickers. There's a lot to work with here. I think we have enough box stickers too, but I'm going to double check. These are the countdown numbers, like if you're doing an advent calendar. I'm going to use these as the numbers of the days. And then these are the box stickers that we have. Now these are small, but I think these will work because these are the only box stickers we have. And you know I like my decorative boxes, so we are definitely going to use those. So let's just take all of these out of the sticker book. And to go with it, I have washi tape by Simply Gilded. Now, I didn't really have anything that was pastel in these colors that would match perfectly, but I thought that this pink and blue matched close enough. So let me hold it up close to the camera. So the blue is almost the same color blue as what's in this sticker right here that says Merry Christmas. And the pink is a bit brighter then the pink and the stickers but it doesn't have to be perfect it'll match close enough and then this is just a solid turquoise blue and solid pink and these are the thin strips so I thought these would match I wish I had some pastel green and purple to pull in but we're gonna use what we have my motto for this month and for next year is going to be use my stash use what I've got so that's what we're gonna do normally what I like to do is a weekly dashboard and then a day per page and I think we're going to stick to that because I like the amount of room that a day per page gives me Sometimes it's a little bit too much space, but I'd rather have too much space than not enough. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I try not to zoom in too much because I'm kind of bad at staying in frame when I'm zoomed in. But we're going to hope that that's zoomed in enough and it's gloomy outside. I know you probably don't care about all my excuses but it's gloomy outside so I have on my bright lights and I don't really like the way that it kind of washes out everything it makes it a bit too bright but again I don't have a fix for that so we're gonna do what we can do and I'm going to use this washi tape on the weekly dashboard and then I'm gonna alternate between the pink and the turquoise or teal I'm not sure what color that is but the light blue so I don't necessarily have a plan 
I, I just like to start these with a loose idea of what I want to do and then I kind of let the creativity take me the rest of the way. I have noticed that when I was planning on my own without filming it, it took me a lot longer to plan. And that was surprising to me because I assumed it would be the other way around, that filming would take up more time, but I realized that when I'm filming, and this is one of the things I like about filming, is that I make decisions more quickly. And you might be thinking, well, you're still quite indecisive. Yes, I'm still quite indecisive, but I'm even more indecisive when I'm on my own, planning by myself. So I like making these videos because they kind of keep me on my toes. I never know where the creativity is going to take me because I make decisions more quickly than if I were on my own. And because of that, things turn out a little bit differently than they would otherwise. I think for the opposite page, I'm going to use this one. And then we will get started on the weekly dashboard. And now is a good time for me to ask, how are you all doing? I am, how am I doing? <laughs> I was gonna say I'm doing well, but that's a very, what's it called, typical answer. I am doing well, I'm just busy today. I'm filming this at 1.26 in the afternoon. I was supposed to film this earlier this morning, but things just ran away from me. Time got away from me. I was running errands with my mom earlier today. And then I just have a lot on my to-do list. This is that time of year where Things just get busy with holiday stuff. So let's see. For the top, I want to use the Colorful Boxes sticker book by the Happy Planner. And I want to add a sticker to put the dates in at the top. And I'm thinking this blue would match or silver. I think I'm going to go with silver because there's a lot of blue on the next page in the washi tape so I don't want it to be too much yeah this will work and kind of nervous about this color palette I wanted to do something that was not traditional but I really do like the reds and greens I feel more comfortable with the traditional Christmas colors we'll see how this one turns out this is for the 12th through the 18th. So let's just write that in. The next thing we're going to do is put down a box to put in a to-do list. So we have this checklist. Actually, I think I like the green one because the checklists are gingerbread and candy cane and Christmas tree cookies. And I think that's really cute. So I'm going to use this as my checklist. I need a header. I think these headers are longer than the box, but I think that might be our only option. Let's just take one off and see. Let's do the blue. If we put it there, yeah, it's a bit bigger than the box, but again, we're gonna use what we've got. I don't know why they made the stickers different lengths because it's even bigger than the full box stickers. I'm not sure why they do what they do, but we're gonna put it here. And then I wish I had a to-do or this week script. I used to make my own on my Cricut machine, but I haven't done that in a while because my printer was giving me issues. I don't think the printer liked the printer paper, the sticker paper that I was using. I don't like this. It's not the right length, so I'm going to cut it right there. 
and then should I put this on top of it let's try it because I think like that I can easily tell that that's a sticker on top of a sticker I'm not sure how much that will bother me let's see what else we have to work with we have these smaller ones and that's it so what I'm going to do is actually use a sticker from here I'll go with the blue one and we're gonna take this up I wasted this sticker that makes me a little bit sad but it's just not the right length and I don't like that it was doubled up so we're gonna put this here like that and I need a, a this week script so let me get so I'm going to use this clear tracker sticker book by recollections and there is a there's an important sticker I was gonna say there is a to do sticker but I kind of like that important sticker here's the to do sticker but I like the important sticker I like the script So we'll put this here. This will be my checklist for the week. That looks cute. That was a good choice that I made. And then I'll have a checklist, habit trackers. I did not think of habit trackers. So let me look through this chunk of sticker sheets. These are sticker sheets that I've taken from different sticker books mostly happy planner sticker books but some other sticker books also probably not going to flip through all of this with you because it's not very exciting and I thought I had my habit trackers on top but that doesn't seem to be the case these are the ones I was looking for so we have these habit trackers from a happy planner mega sticker book and then we have these from another happy planner sticker book and I think those are all the ones that I can find right now I know for sure that I have some more I just don't know where they are at the moment and I would like to spend the time looking for it, but I don't know if I have the time to do that. I have a pretty busy day ahead of me. So we'll put this, where should I put this? If you all could see my desk right now, I'm going to clean my craft area later. That's on my to-do list. For right now, let's move this over here and put this there. Now you can't even tell that there's a mess. Let's pretend like my desk is clean. So for these, I like this pink and this blue. And I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, oh, I like the purple one too. The purple is a bit dark. I don't mind, I, I want purple. It adds a different, another pastel color into it, so. I don't remember what I was talking about earlier, probably nothing important. But I do have a lot to do today. I need to do my Christmas shopping. How many of you still have Christmas shopping to do? Cause I'm definitely, I'm definitely late. Well, it's December 8th, so I'm not completely behind schedule. I just, I don't know for sure if the stores that I'm going to are going to have what I'm looking for. If they don't, then I'm going to have to order online, and then I don't know if that's going to get here in time, and you know the drill. 
it's a whole big to do, but I definitely need to get all my gifts together. For my meal tracker, I'm going to use the menu stickers, sticker book by Recollections that I use all the time. And this is the wrong one. I have a backup. I bought another one when they were on sale, so I have this one. And I think I'm going to use pink. I think this will work perfectly. Well, the pink one or the blue one, but I feel like there's a lot of blue. So let's add some pink to the page. This adds a little bit of gold, which clashes a little bit, but I'm gonna be okay with it. So, habits. For my habits, I do this in every video, so it feels like I'm repeating myself, but for those of you who don't know my method for how I set up my Stalogy, for the habits, sometimes I hand write them in, but I also like to use the wellness sticker book by The Happy Planner. There are multiple wellness sticker books by The Happy Planner, but I like this one because there are habits that you can use to put in your habit trackers. So I have not been tracking my exercise for this month and that has been deliberate because I'm not prioritizing exercising this month. I will get back into the swing of things in January, but I am going to track Tidy Up. My daily cleaning has been going well. My goal is to get the apartment looking decent. I was going to say looking great, but I just want it to look decent by the new year. Then I'm going to do less sugar. I'm going to do less sugar for next week, keeping in mind that the week of Christmas, I'm going to go crazy with all the sweets all the pies, cakes, cookies. So I don't want to do that for too long in a row. So next week, we're gonna try to eat a little bit healthier. And then, yeah, let's do reading. I put reading on my list this week and haven't gotten any reading done. It's the thing on my to-do list that I take out the minute I get busy and I have to switch things around, I just take out reading because that's an easy like half an hour that I could get back. But then there are books that I want to finish that I just haven't gotten around to finishing. So those are my habits. What else do I need? I have a to-do list, meal tracker, habit trackers next week. Next week. What am I going to do for next week? I would like to use this entire bottom area for next week. So what I'm going to do is take these skinny washi tapes. Let's take this one and put it across the middle of the page. Well, not the middle of the page, but wherever this sticker ends. And then next week we'll go here. I could put this one. Let's do it. This is actually one of those two part stickers. So this top piece comes up and then the middle piece comes up. Not sure. Oh, it's a three part sticker. This is going to be difficult to get down. Because it's so big, I'm probably not going to use all of the border. So we'll put this down. You know what? Scratch that. This is way too difficult. I might just use these for something else. For now, they are going back onto the sticker paper. 
maybe I could use them as a frame for some other sticker. But for right now, they're going here. And I just realized that the box, the decorative box stickers are two part stickers too, which I don't know how I feel about that. This one is another three part sticker. I'm gonna have to try to put these down all together because I like the border around it. So this will be for next week. I think this will be enough room. You can't even see that, that's off camera. See, this is why I try not to zoom in because I am terrible at staying in frame. So let's put this guy down here. Like that. And then we have space to put decorative stickers. I kind of like these houses, but I also like this one that says Peace on Earth. I just feel like there will be a lot of empty space around it. So let's see how it looks. Like that. I actually like it. I wish there were some small deco that we could use. There are these snowflakes. Let's use these. Like that, cute. And we're done with this page. Well, are we done? I feel like there's this awkward space right here. I know I don't have to fill up every little bit of area with stickers, but you know me, that's kind of my thing. I kind of want to use this. like that. This goes into the meal tracker, but I'll make it work. So now I'm going to go in, alternate the washi tape between these, these, and I should bring in these. Should I? No, I think I'll stick with just the Simply Gilded washi tape. So I'm going to go put down the washi tape and I will be right back. So I've gone through and put down washi tape on all of the pages. I just alternated between the three pastel washi tapes. And now we need to do date covers. For my date covers, I'm going to use my trusty numbers and days sticker book by agenda 52 and i'm going to use the countdown numbers from the sticker book i think these are a bit big but we will see how they work i was thinking of using these i could also use these but I like the bigger font on these so I thought I thought these would work and I'm thinking of using either the pink the blue or the purple the purple wouldn't really match the washi tape but it would add in the color the purple color from the stickers so I could do that, or I could just stick with blue. I think I'll do that. Now the question is, where do we put these? Because they take up a lot of space. I could put it over here, which I don't usually do. I could even block, block out the top of the washi tape. Let's just see. This might take a while. I might try.
try a few different ways and then put it together and then come back and show you because this might take a while for me to figure out. Okay, so I've decided I'm just going to be basic. I'm just going to put it in the corner at the top like I put all of my date covers and then I'm going to actually I don't know where I'm gonna put this I thought I had this figured out where should I put the day of the week then it's really hard to see on camera that's it's hard to see in person too because it's such a light color blue I could, what I could do is use these. I could use black. So let's put this Monday back on the sticker page and see what the black looks like. And then I could probably put it on the number instead of off to the side. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Like that. I actually like that. That's cute. Decision made. That took, that actually, I'm ashamed to say how long, <laughs> how long it took me to decide to put this in the corner. It's just a number. The planner police are not going to come get me if I don't make it look pretty enough. So this is, oh, these actually worked out well, the blue with the blue. I don't usually like to color block, but it looks like it was meant to be. And then let's put down the days of the week. I'm not sure how the rest of the layout on this page is going to be because the number takes up so much space. but we will see. So I don't really have much else to talk about. The only thing I'm doing is chores. Oh, I'm still studying for the CPA exam. That's going to be an ongoing thing. I'm probably, probably going to take the first exam. There are four different parts of the CPA exam that I have to take. Probably going to take the first one January of next year. And then give myself like maybe two months to study for each exam after that. We'll see. So I'm trying to squeeze in my studying with everything else. But I have to say, I am getting into the holiday spirit. I wish there were more houses with lights on them. I remember back in the day, I know that makes me sound old and I'm not that old, but back in the day, we used to make it um, an event to drive around and just look at all the houses with lights on them. But in the neighborhood that we are now, there just doesn't seem to be a lot of other people in the holiday spirit, at least not enough to decorate their houses. So that is not something that will be on our list of things to do this holiday season. And that's kind of sad. So, Let's see, what else do we have to do this holiday season? We went ice skating, which actually wasn't very fun because the ice skates hurt my feet. And it just wasn't very pleasant. Let's put this Let It Snow here. Again, I'm not sure about the layout of this page. It's not going to be very, what's the word for it, lined? aligned lined up it's not going to be very symmetrical I still don't know if that's the right word I'm looking for because this box is different than this box I don't know what I'm gonna put here probably some deco not sure what to put on this part of the page 
I was putting in my weather, but I haven't been doing that lately. Let's do this one that says, I like this one that says Merry Christmas. It's not Christmas yet, but might as well use the stickers because we have them. Let's use this one that says Peace on Earth. I feel like my brain is scattered today. It's all over the place. I can't remember what I was talking about. Um, let's see. Tis the season to be jolly. Let's use this one here. And... Let's use the nutcracker here. So today, after I film this video, I have to edit and upload it so that it could go up today. It's already 2 o'clock, so I'm late to the schedule that I set for myself. And then I have to do laundry, wash dishes, sort through our closets. We have a lot of stuff to donate. Most of the stuff we are going to donate, but I have some clothes from more than a decade ago that have holes in them. They're just not wearable. So those will be turned into rags. And then... What else do I have to do? I have to figure out what we're going to do for dinner. Let's do this one. And then let's see, we have these. Let's put down some quotes. This is gold. Do I want gold? I actually don't mind. So let's put that one there. Tis the season. It's a bit too long. Let's put down, see, I'm all over the place. Let me get my bearings. I need a checklist or a to-do list. So for Monday, let's use the blue. Again, these are all different sizes. These are all different sizes. How do I feel about that? And then something to put in my dinners at the end of the day. You guys, I have to be honest. I'm not loving this one. I'm not loving this one. But we're going to keep going. Tis the season. And then, let's put this dude up here. So what I usually do is have a decorative box, a to-do list, and a checklist or an area for things that happen that day. I technically have all of the elements that I need, a decorative box, well, I have the date, a decorative box, and a to-do list, and an area for what happened that day. I just don't like the layout of how this one looks. Maybe, oh, I need something to put my dinners in. So let's just put this one here. And maybe if I keep adding to it, <laughs> will that make it better? I don't think it works that way, but you never know till you try. So let's see, I need, let's do this one. Those are the same size. Interesting. And then over here we can do this, no, no let's not do that one. Let's do the green. And then 
For this one, we have another green. I hope you all are having a good holiday season. I've been watching a lot of YouTube these past this past week. And there was one YouTuber that I'm watching who posted a video that said she was overwhelmed because she's doing Vlogmas. So she's keeping up with her business and doing lots of holiday things and events. And she, she posted that she was overwhelmed. And I feel you. I feel the same way. I don't have nearly as much going on. But I just feel like, I don't know. I'm thinking of everything that I'm planning to do for next year and already getting ahead of myself. I think that's the problem. This doesn't look as bad, as bad as I was thinking. So let's put down these cookies at the top. Let's do the tree. Here, we can do the candy cane here. Let's do this gingerbread here. Another candy cane. And then we have these houses, which are too cute not to use. I'm starting to like this a little bit more now that everything is on and I see that I really do have all of the elements that I need. So I cut out a little bit of what I was doing and I just want to show you the deco that I put down on the pages. So I use the houses and some of the trees and put those down. Now we just have to write in our plans which I don't really think I'm going to do because this is a little bit far in advance. It's Thursday the 8th and this is for the 12th through the 18th. So it's still a little bit early. I do want to use some of these deco stickers because this color palette is very specific and I don't know when else I will use them. Oh, my dinners. I have to put down my stickers for my dinners. So let's use this one here. These are small, but I think I'll be able to write in what I need to write in. This one is right there. Oh, I was going the wrong direction. Let's put this one here. And then these last two. Cute. I actually, I was too hard on myself. I actually don't mind the way this looks. I dare to say I like it. I think I like it. I don't think I'm going to use all these pages because usually my list is only about half the page and then the rest is just empty or I have stickers in it. So I think I will be able to get away with using more stickers like this at the bottom. So should I put the stocking there? Like that, that's cute. And then we have a space to put Noel. Right there. And then let's use this one here. There's so many other stickers I haven't used. My goodness, let's see. I kind of 
kind of want something here. Let's just use this other, this other one right there. Oh, next week on, let me check my calendar. I have to remember, I have to take my mom to the doctor. And I have to remember this because that's earlier than what I usually get up. I usually get dressed and get ready for the day at nine o'clock, but I'm gonna have to wake up earlier for this. And then my normal, Things that I do every day is wash dishes, laundry at some point. I don't have any appointments to put in. So this is basically just to decorate with me. It's not really a plan with me because I'm not writing in any plans. But this is what it looks like so far. I wish I had something to put. I just love putting stickers down. Let's see what else we can get away with. Oh, so what I'm going to have to do is wrap gifts. The 21st, I'm expecting a laptop delivery for work. So I have been sat here racking my brain trying to figure out if there was anything else I had on my schedule for next week, and I don't. As of today, Thursday, December 8th, I don't have anything to add to my plans. So this is going to be all that I put in my planner for next week. We'll see if that ends up being the case once everything is said and done, but we're just gonna do a flip through because this video has been long enough this is the weekly dashboard, a to-do list for next week, habit trackers, meal plan for next week, and then an area for next week and some decorative stickers. We have Monday, a day per page, which is a decorative box, a to-do list, and then an area to write in more to-do items or just to write down like a little blurb about what happened that day and a box to put in my meals. I track my meals twice. So this is the meal plan, what I plan on having that day, and what I write on each day is what I actually eat. So this is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that is all I have for you today. I actually was skeptical about how this would look, but I like how it turned out. It's not my favorite, but I think it's cute enough that I will want to use this planner next week. And yeah, I kind of hope I have more plans than this so that my pages don't look so empty come next week. But I will do an after the pin flip through once that time comes. And... That is where I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.